the olive tree picture. Jeremiah chapter 11, verse 16 says this, speaking about his people Israel, all 12 tribes, Yahweh called your name green olive tree, lovely and of good fruit. With the noise of a great tumult, he has kindled fire on it and its branches were broken. And what we see, again, as we've already explained multiple times through multiple programs, uh, that uh, that he kindled this fi- the, a fire on this tree and he broke it in two. And so it became two olive trees. Ezekiel 37, it became two sticks. And the Hebrew word there actually is tree, believe it or not. So it's two trees that will eventually come back into one in the hand of the Messiah. And that's what you're going to see right here again. Just like Romans 7, we're going to see another unbelievable, more powerful allusion to the two kingdoms of Israel coming back together. The northern kingdom who stumbled over the law, they were divorced and are coming back, and they're going to make the southern kingdom, Judah, jealous. And when that happens, amazing things uh, are on its way. And so let's continue. In our PowerPoint, we see that it was split into two trees. The tree on your left is the cultivated olive tree that represents the house of Judah. The tree on the right, on the other hand, well, it needs a little cultivating. Uh, it is the wild olive tree. And together, those two trees are going to become one. And so what we want to ask is, what is it grafted into? Romans eleven twenty four. we're going to sum up the entire chapter as we move through PowerPoint here. It says, for if you were cut out of the olive tree, which is wild by nature, and were grafted contrary to nature into a cultivated olive tree, how much more will these, who are natural branches, be grafted into their own olive tree? What it's saying is that if you were cut out of the olive tree, do you hear that? See, if we read the front of the book, we would immediately know what Paul's talking about. He's saying that you were once part of the olive tree. We know from Jeremiah chapter 11 that the olive tree is Israel. You were cut out of, you were cut out of the wild, the, uh, you, excuse me, you were cut out of the olive tree. And now you've become wild, but you can be, gra- you'll be grafted back in. How much more, if you can be grafted in, how much more can the, the cultivated original olive tree be grafted into its own branch, its own trunk, you see? And the, the original cultivated olive tree is, of course, the house of Judah. They kept the commandments. They had the Torah. They kept the oracles of Yahweh. They did an unbelievable job. Do you realize that we wouldn't even be here having this program today? God's learning channel wouldn't exist. Uh, we, we, churches wouldn't exist. Literally, Christianity would not exist today. The New Testament wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the fact that the house of Judah, the Jews, kept the Torah and they preserved it, the oracles of God, for us today. We owe them a phenomenal debt, and we actually will be paying it back by showing them the Messiah, the true Messiah, not the Greco-Roman Jesus, but we'll be showing them the true Hebrew Yeshua. Uh, 